Welcome to the Spirit and Spark Weekly Forecast. My name is Virginia and I'm an astrologer at Spirit and Spark. Today I'm here with Joseph. He's also an astrologer at Spirit and Spark. And we wanted to bring you the update for the week. Joseph, what's your take on the beginning of the week? Well, uh, first things first, I'm really excited. Uh, me and my wife got our licensing oh, in yesterday. Nice. Very good. Um, so we're going to do the temporaries. It has to be in the system for, I guess, 48 hours. Um, and then we'll do our temporaries. should take about a week. And then we'll be able to do astrology readings, tarot readings, room Perfect. readings. Um, and we'll just help everybody find their path and their true self. Um, but this week, I'm feeling very confident. I hope everybody else is feeling very confident in what they're doing um, and what they're passionate about. we got some good um, transitions. Um, excited to talk about. Awesome. So first we're going to talk about moon in Scorpio at the beginning of the week. Your moon governs the internal emotional part of your life. When it's in Scorpio, it definitely will bring to you a deep feeling. Scorpio is all about deep truths, deep understandings, mysteries, highlighting what you've really got going on deep in your emotions. Wouldn't you agree? Oh yes, definitely. And at that point going into Scorpio, it will oppose your honest. That's that's really coming into it of we're going deep to see who we are at our core who we are at our truest self and then you're probably going to be tested at this point are you being true to that that self are you being compassionate are you loving yourself if you're not the beginning of the week can feel kind of rough and hazy for you and confusing and you don't know why things are going wrong. You thought Mercury was out of retrograde. Yeah. If things are still going wrong, you're not listening to your higher self. You need to take a second, meditate, figure out what it is in your life causing this confusion. And this moon opposing your honest is a perfect time for that. Let these energies work with you. Um, it, it could be a powerful opposition that you could use for you. And for those of you who don't know astrology that well, an opposition is when you have one planet directly opposing or on the opposite side of another planet. So the moon, your inner life, is opposing Uranus, which is the planet of unexpected events, sudden insights, deep insights, just things that are related to unexpected activity. So then we're going to move on. On Wednesday, we have an amazing aspect, actually, Sun trying Jupiter. So the Sun, being your basic self, your ego, who you are as a person, is going to be in a really beautiful communication with the planet of optimism, expansion, your belief systems. So you'll really have a solid sense of what you believe in by the middle of the week. That's right. It's your the, the essence of life, the Sun. All life needs it here on this planet. And it's in your everyday life. It's who you are. It's what you're doing. Um, it's it's your your core ego, and that doesn't have to be a bad thing. You can have balance and find your ego and be a be one with it. And I think this Jupiter retrograde has really been taking us back through that. And this Sun trine at this point, right before Jupiter is about to go direct at the end of the Pretty week. Exciting. It it's. It's at that point where we're going to see, we're going to feel this, this new life that we're going to have. And it's this point where in astrology, you know, they're all lessons. They're, are you going to figure it out this year in advance or are you going to have to wait for next year? And this is the moment. This, this shift will show you. You'll feel it. You'll know. You'll be all like, okay, this is the life that I want. And if, if you're feeling that stress and anxiety about it, that's because you're not allowing yourself to have this new life. You're trying to hold on to the old self and we all must evolve and grow. And this, this trying will really help with that. It, it's gonna let you know, like, this is what you want. Let yourself have it. If, if, if the beginning, like I said, the beginning of the week is yeah. getting out of whack you need to take a minute because Jupiter is about to go direct and he's bringing the blessings and they could either be blessings or curses depending on the polarity right and that's up to you and all you have to do is be kind and compassionate to yourself and treat yourself how you want the world to be and this, this trying will be a great time for that. That's a positive aspect. So if you're planning out your week and you have something important you want to do that you would like for luck to be on your side, you know, starting Wednesday would be a good time to do that. Definitely. 
And then as the week progresses, our Mercury, which is our communicating planet, how you get that information out, is going to be moving into Leo, which is very expressive. It's the time to speak your truth, to be creative with your words, to communicate things in a bold way, take a leadership role in your communication style. That's right. It's, we're, we're, we're in this peak of Leo season, and Mercury coming into it is going to open the doors of our our own personal courage to be this new person that we're mm -hmm. becoming it'll it'll give us the mentality to say you know what this is who i am and the world will accept me because i was put here for a reason and if you're not living your purpose then you're you're not fulfilling your what you were put here on earth for and following astrology following the stars it's all a guide to find that right. and you know, as you're listening to this, if you're having issues following following along, and you just you're, I, I can't figure it out. That's what we're here for. We're we're professionals. This is what we do. Uh, we're here for you. We're here here to help. And Mercury going into Leo, that could give you the courage to say, you know what, I do need help, and I want somebody to help me follow my stars. Mm -hmm. And that's that's what we're here for. And Mercury and Leo, take take this time to be courageous. Um, if you're if you're on the right path, keep doing what you're doing. If you're feeling lost and confused, maybe reach out for some help. For sure. Well, at the end of the week, we're going to round it off with Uranus in retrograde. Everybody knows about Mercury in retrograde, but we're going to have the planet of shakeup in retrograde, which really could be flashes of insight for you going inward to shake things up for yourself. Do something unexpected. Wherever Uranus is, that's where you want to shake stuff up. So in retrograde, that will have an effect on your internal life. Definitely. And Jupiter will go direct. And then about an hour, maybe 50 minutes later, Uranus goes retrograde. retrograde. So it's this big shift of our new world is going to start expanding. And we're going to start see it forming around us. And because of that, your honest is going to come in and it's going to shake up our core. It's going to change our beliefs. It's going to, the way we see the world will have to change because the world will be expanding around us at a rapid rate now that Jupiter is going direct. Um, so the, your honest will give us the energy to do that for sure. Yeah, exactly. The, and the mindset to be open to change and to experience this new you. It, it'll be an exciting time. Just accept yourself and keep pushing forward. Yeah, so come and visit us at Spirit and Spark if you need an astrology reading or for us to translate your chart for you. Have a fabulous week. Enjoy these energies of the week, and we'll see you next week. See you next week. Thank you very much.